Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. A new global currency just launched, but 99% of the global population has no idea what just happened. The Universal Monetary Unit, also known as Unicoin, is an international central bank digital currency that has been designed to work in conjunction with all existing national currencies. This should set off alarm bells for all of us, because the widespread adoption of a new global currency would be a giant step forward for the globalist agenda. The IMF did not create this new currency, but it was unveiled at a major IMF gathering earlier this week. Today, at the International Monetary Fund Spring Meetings 2023, the Digital Currency Monetary Authority, or DCMA, announced their official launch of an international central bank digital currency, or CBDC, that strengthens the monetary sovereignty of participating central banks and complies with the recent crypto assets policy recommendations proposed by the IMF. Universal Monetary Unit, or UMU, symbolized as ANSI character, U, is legally a money commodity, can transact in any legal tender settlement currency, and functions like a CBDC, to enforce banking regulations, and to protect the financial integrity of the international banking system. As the press release quoted above indicates, this new Universal Monetary Unit was created by the Digital Currency Monetary Authority. So, who in the world is the Digital Currency Monetary Authority? Honestly, I had no idea until I started doing research for this video. The press release says that the organization consists of sovereign states, central banks, commercial and retail banks, and other financial institutions. The DCMA is a world leader in the advocacy of digital currency and monetary policy innovations for governments and central banks. Membership within the DCMA consists of sovereign states, central banks, commercial and retail banks, and other financial institutions. Basically, it sounds like a secretive cabal of international banks and national governments is conspiring to push this new currency down our throats. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. We are being told that the Universal Monetary Unit is Crypto 2.0, and those that created it are hoping that it will be widely adopted by all constituencies in a global economy. The DCMA introduces Universal Monetary Unit as Crypto 2.0 because it innovates a new wave of cryptographic technologies for realizing a digital currency public monetary system with a widespread adoption framework, encompassing use cases for all constituencies in a global economy. I don't know about you, but this sounds super shady to me. Of course, the Digital Currency Monetary Authority is not the only one that has been working on a new digital currency. The UK has also been working on one. The same is true for the European Union. And, would it surprise anyone that the Biden administration is touting the potential benefits of a digital form of the US dollar? The following comes from the official White House website. A United States central bank digital currency, CBDC, would be a digital form of the US dollar. While the US has not yet decided whether it will pursue a CBDC, the US has been closely examining the implications of, and options for, issuing a CBDC. If the US pursued a CBDC, there could be many possible benefits, such as facilitating efficient and low-cost transactions, fostering greater access to the financial system, boosting economic growth, and supporting the continued centrality of the US within the international financial system. 
I don't think that it is a coincidence that governments all over the Western world are simultaneously developing CBDCs. And the IMF has actually already put together an extensive handbook to assist central banks and governments throughout the world in their CBDC rollouts. The International Monetary Fund IMF, is putting together a central bank digital currency handbook to assist central banks and governments throughout the world in their CBDC rollouts. Published publicly on April 10, the IMF approach to central bank digital currency capacity development report outlines the IMF's multi-year strategy for aiding CBDC rollouts, including the development of a living CBDC handbook for monetary authorities to follow. A lot of people out there will cheer when these digital currencies are introduced. But it is imperative to understand that once everyone is using them, your financial privacy will be almost totally gone. Authorities will be able to track virtually everything that you buy and sell, and I am sure that they won't hesitate to use that information against you. Needless to say, the potential for tyranny in such a system is off the charts. Can you imagine a world in which you are restricted from buying meat for a while because you have already used your carbon credits for the month? Your financial privileges could potentially be restricted at any time at the whim of a government bureaucrat, and if you are a big enough troublemaker, you could be deplatformed from the system permanently. Of course, in order for such a system to have real teeth, cash and other forms of payment will need to be phased out, and that is precisely what is happening right now in Europe. The following comes from the official website of the European Parliament. To restrict transactions in cash and crypto assets, MEPs want to cap payments that can be accepted by persons providing goods or services. They set limits up to €7,000 for cash payments and €1,000 for crypto asset transfers where the customer cannot be identified. Ultimately, they will just keep lowering the limits until the use of cash is almost completely eliminated. Everyone will be slowly but surely forced onto the new digital system, and it will be a system that they control with an iron fist. And most people will willingly go along with it. These days, most people are just scraping by from month to month, and one recent survey found that 70% of all Americans are financially stressed at this point. Inflation, economic instability and the lack of savings have an increasing number of Americans feeling financially stressed. Some 70% of Americans admit to being stressed about their personal finances these days, and a majority, 52% of US adults, said their financial stress has increased since before the CV-19 panic began in March 2020, according to a new CNBC Your Money Financial Confidence survey conducted in partnership with Momentive. Most Americans simply do not care that these new digital currencies could open a door for great tyranny. They just want to be able to pay the bills and take care of their families, and if our politicians tell them that this new system is good for the economy, they will be all for it. But those of us that are awake know that more globalism doesn't lead anywhere good. Concentrating even more power in the hands of the international elite is always a bad idea, and hopefully, we can start to get more people to understand this. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.